Yeah, first up is, is Will Finch out of Nelson High. He's a, a strong quarterback that's at ease in the pocket or rolling out left or right. Uh, he's fairly agile. Uh, he likes to make the defense work for uh, to make a play. He throws a, a very nice catchable ball. And uh, the biggest thing I'd like to see more out of him is uh, throwing some more out patterns and uh, maybe quieting his feet in the pocket a little more. So next up is Eli Ankeo. He's uh, out of St. Peter's. He's uh, a very strong defensive lineman. He gets off the snap pretty quick. Um, he uses his speed well. Uh, like to see a little bit more out of the pursuit from him. Uh, he makes the offensive lineman react, which is which is always good to see. And uh, I'd like to see more game action, uh, consecutive plays, that kind of thing out of out of him. Next up is Jamal Kett out of St. Andrews. Uh, he's a big target, uh, a big body, six foot five or so. Um, he's very good at finding spaces and, and holes in the defense. Uh, very good at exploiting a, a zone, uh, and he runs well after the catch. Uh, I'd like to see him a little more route running uh, and get a better idea how he sets up his defenders sometimes. And next is Terrell Davis, uh, the new TD out of Mount Douglas High School. Uh, he's got great speed. Uh, he's a very hard runner. Um, he's got a lot of football intelligence. Uh, he seems to find the holes and he understands how to use his blockers to, uh, to maximize his, his chances. Um, he's got a real good head on his shoulders and he's already kind of made up his mind that he's going to work hard to get to, to Oregon in the future. Next up is Kyle Gertson out of uh, Burt Church High School. Uh, he's got a, a really strong motor, uh, going to turn into a pretty nice linebacker. He fights off the blocks pretty good and, and makes all the tackles that come to him. Uh, I'd like to see him take a little more charge um, and be a real leader on that defense for next year. 